Well, hello there, my game friends. This is your fabulous host, Viact here, and today I'm gonna play a fantasy team visual novel called Sakoyo Yggdrasil, and it's made by an indie developer called Monstar. And before I even kick this off, I have to warn you guys that there's some uh, not safe work content in this game, just so you know. And I also want to point out that there's a Kickstarter campaign for Sakoyo. Well, okay, it's upcoming. It's gonna kick off on the 15th of Mars. So with that said, let's get rolling. Hello, human. Are you ready for your execution? <coughs> I mean... How can one be trial. ready for his execution? Trial, yeah, right. Although, the evidence speaks clearly enough. What the hell are you talking about? I just started the game, what the hell? What evidence? Okay, it's one week ago. Okay, it looks like... Well, my room, in a way. <laughs> okay, his name is Yamakasi Kusunagi. I think I pronounced it right. A boring high school student. Okay, he's 14 years old. He enjoys simple things. Play games, read a manga, and <laughs> try to keep my perverted fantasy of having my own personal harem in check. Ah, nice. I don't wanna know. Okay, he's a net, so it's kind of like the anime welcome to the NHK. Ah, oh, don't we all hate that? I don't want to wake up, goddammit! I'm having one of those, you know, wonderful dreams. And you actually get choices, so I'm gonna continue to sleep. <laughs> Lazy ass. I don't wanna! I wanna sleep! Oh, five more minutes, please. Is it just me, or does he sound like Guybrush Treepwood? Come on, sleepyhead, we're going to be late for school! School's out for the summer, but it's not summer yet, so nope. Uh, Kogarasachi, okay. Uh, born in the same hospital room, okay, nice. <laughs> One day older, and she still rubs it in. God damn, the guy has a lot of games 360, PlayStation 3, Wii. Well, and he's even got the laptop and everything, god damn. A pack of wolves, okay, he saved her from a pack of wolves that actually was just some stray dogs. How the hell can you see, like, not the difference between dogs and wolves? Oh well. Uh, okay, she still insists that they were wolves. Uh, she tries to help me whenever she can. Okay, she does everything, she has like guilty feelings or whatnot. Oh. <laughs> what time is it? Late. Well, you're late. Uh, in my time zone, that means like, well, 10 o'clock or something like that, because I'm a night old Sachi, person. Will you cut it out? Cut what out, Okay. Your heart, you bastard! Yes. I appreciate all your help, but you need to stop now. It's been nine years. Is it just me or does he sound like really, you know, adult? I mean, not only the voice, but the kind of way he tends to say things. I mean, he's supposed to be 14 years old, but what I'm do I know? School now, and I don't need your help anymore. Oh. Okay, it's going down that lane. And it's starting to get annoying. Ooh. Don't mess with girls' feelings, man. You're going down the highway to hell. Oh great, you Not made her cry. Kind of frustrating. Plus, don't you have midterms to worry about? You tutor me God damn, he just I keeps on rubbing it in. Yourself, right? Putting salt so in the wounds, plus some lemon on top. I think he's going in for the asshole of the year award here. Uh, yeah, I could tell by the tears here. Yeah. 
Okay, she punches me in the gut. Uh, throws me to the wall. Yeah, damn. Oh, uh, I told you, no dumbass. Harsh, don't mess with really girls' feelings. So hard. Oh, yeah, well, love is a pain. Pain in the ass. Else. Oh shit! I'm actually gonna be late. You don't say. Okay, so I guess this is the. Well, front of his oh, high finally. school. This is kind of creepy, <laughs> it reminds me yeah, of my old high school. Ah, uh, yeah. Fun enough, I usually did show up on time. Well, for most part. Um, yeah, uh, is everything okay, with okay, it's a Yinger! They have no souls! I'm just kidding. Uh, depressed. Yeah. Well, we're in school, smartass. Uh, an argument this morning. That's all. It's nothing to worry. Argument. About. It was like a full frontal fight, but call it what you want. Well, okay, if you say so. You liar. And I think you have figured out by now that. This game takes place in Japan. It's actually supposed to be Tokyo. Yamakaze! And I'm trying to keep up with all the names. What? Why are you yelling? <laughs> Some kids said they saw yeah. Sachi heading up towards the roof. Yeah, that, that's a funny thing with schools in for most part of Japan. They always have, you know, roofs that you can climb up top of. Because they have like a roof section, and you know, suicide rates and all that. The, hole in the fence is still there, don't you think? And I'm not the fan of don't heights. Sachi's not that dumb. But <laughs> she was so upset earlier. Well, taking your life ain't gonna solve a shit. He's really fast-minded. Well, let's find out. Okay, I'm in the corridor and I bump into Who's someone. Up? Well, look at that. Who do we have here? Kusanagi, I... Uh, I... <laughs> I knew you couldn't be that stupid. <laughs> what the charming asshole. What? Yeah. He's doing really well with the ladies, as you can see. Saved by the bell, literally. Nothing. Never mind. Uh, let's hurry back to class. And once again, he—I don't know if it's just me, but it sounds kind of like Guybrush Treepwood, you know, the voice actor for Guybrush. But I don't think it's him. At least I don't think so. Okay. Uh, she's still upset. No shit. Uh, okay, so he, he walks, well, she walks in front of him. And what now? Oh, god damn. Well, it's Japan, so earthquakes. That's a part of the ordinary life, I guess. Okay. Knocks me off my feet. More earthquakes. Oh shit, some dude or woman or whatever loses control of her car. Oh shit. Sasha, you idiot! Move out of the way! Kusanagi, uh, what are you doing? This is not going well. Okay, I get hit by the car. God damn, this gives me... Flashbacks because I actually got hit by a car in real life and it fucked me up pretty bad. Oh well. No! I actually flew through the wind of the car, but that's a story for another time. Okay, so now I'm unconscious. Don't touch him. Uh if you says the him, pedophile. <laughs> I mean his teacher. Go get help. <laughs> Go! Okay. Yeah, I didn't actually get an ambulance, 
the fucking lazy pigs actually had to drive me to the hospital, but yeah. So I'm at the hospital now, I guess. My fault. My fault. Oh, crying out loud. Uh, miss? You should go rest. <laughs> You do have your exams this oh, week. I, I don't know why, I just felt totally fucking awkward by his, like, you know, caving out of nowhere and, uh, miss, you should go rest. You have your exams this, wait a minute, how the fuck does he know he has exams? But then again, maybe in Japan everybody knows when it's exam time. What no, do I know? Please tell me. Moving on. Well, he got hit by a car and is unconscious, so I think it's safe to say that it... Well, His he doesn't feel all that well. His for now, but we won't know anything until he comes out of the coma. Okay, that made me think about Guns N' Roses and the song. I think it's actually I'm called sorry, Coma. Miss, but I must insist you rest and return tomorrow. It won't help him in any way if you stay here and worry about him. Well, f that sounds like a plan, indeed. But this... this is... this is all my fault! Well, shit happens. Okay, now it's five days ago. Someone found an old scroll that can fully heal a person. Even revive the dead. Holy shit. Bon Scott, here I come! That would be something right there. Resurrect Bon yeah, Scott. But it's just a fairy tale. Something scammers make up to steal your money. Hmm. Oh no. They say this well, there's a lot of scamming schemes going on nowadays. For four okay, I think I can guess where, where this is, is going. How do I get it? Wait a minute, wasn't it five days? Ah, uh, okay, she remembers. I think they said it's being held at the Tokyo Research Center for unidentified items, but they don't let anyone near okay, it. Okay, so Not I bet that I'm going to steal it. So I'm gonna go like <laughs> Splinter Cell, Metal Gear Solid on their asses. Holy shit. She's actually going to steal it. Okay, so I get the chance to choose if she should steal it or just, well, skip it. Yes, I will do whatever it takes to help him. Well, a friend indeed. Hey, a friend in need is a friend indeed, or something like that. Okay, I'm listening. Me, gonna gonna steal it. No matter what the cost may be, I swear, I'll save you. And I don't think it's the Elder Scrolls, because that would be fucking hilarious if she shows up with... Okay, I got the Elder Scrolls here. Everything's cool. What? What's going on? Oh, God damn it. I think Gaben is mad over the fact that the cake is... Well, gone. Uh, no, it's what Earthquake. What just happened? I wonder how many earthquakes talk you have this like is per year. Two big earthquakes in such a short period? No. This was longer and seems stronger than the previous one. Oh god. Kusanagi, please be okay. I'll be there soon. Wow. This place is deserted. No staff members? A few soldiers, but I guess that makes sense after that earthquake. <laughs> Okay, so this is like the science facility or whatnot. Okay. Oh, whoa. It's not gonna be easy to find that scroll, but yeah. Oh, great. The soldier is approaching me from what behind. What do you think you're doing here? This is a restricted area. Who are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Uh, tell the truth. Fuck that. <laughs> Lie about uh, who you are. Um, I'm looking for a book that my mom needed. Yeah. Pokemon Collector Edition. Uh, Santa Claus. 
you know. Dr. <laughs> Tagaki Narumi? Oh, Christ. Captain, can you this run is a not check going on well. Dr. Takagi Narumi? See if she works here and, uh... uh w what's your name, girl? Uh, Sailor Moon. <laughs> it's not gonna take long before you figure out that... Well, I'm lying. Oh, oh Christ! Okay, she's gonna try to I'm do some Takagi assaulting Yukari, here. Captain. Sorry about this, but it's just standard procedure. I don't personally know anyone by that name, so... I think I know where this is going. Holy shit. Okay, she's slicing his throat and she gets fired with one bullet in her arm. Okay. Chanel, <laughs> what the fuck? She's, uh, what the hell? Okay, she gets shot in her arm and she's actually stabbing him in the throat with the broken glass. Oh, great. This is getting even worse. Uh, where is it? Maybe... Uh, it, maybe it was fake after all? It's gonna be really easy finding a scroll when you've been shot in the arm. Oh, shit. That looks kind of bad. Really bad. Unless it's, well, jam. All over the wall and shit. But she's got the hole in her arm, so no. I can't make heads or tails of this. Try to find a new scroll. Uh, but this is probably it, isn't it? No, it has to be it. Well, I'm not a scientist or a historian or whatever, so I have no idea what the healing scroll will look like. Okay, she grabs the scroll and runs away. And she has a lot of pain. And oh, great, she falls on her wounded arm. God damn it, get your act together. Sachi. Okay, a car okay. stops in front of her. Says who? Oh. Biology teacher. Oh, great. Now she's at the hospital as well, but yeah. Huh. Yeah. Try to breathe through the pain. Uh, okay. She has to scroll at least, but is it the right one? And, well, I have no idea if his, uh, her little friend is still alive. Kusunagi's room, I see two nurses. Oh, Wait, you dirty fucking you bastard. Leave him alone. Well, I told you. He had a goddamn treason while I was gone. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Pushing to nurses. <laughs> okay, I could uh, joke all day long about that, but no. I feel anger burning in my ass. <laughs> Eyes, not ass. Sorry. Ah, man. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're okay now. Oh, you the, were the doctor. You badly when your teacher brought you here. Well, it doesn't seem to be a problem now. I'm just fine. But what are they doing to Kusanagi? Okay, she's been shot in the arm and she's like, Ain't no sweat, nigga. I ain't got the problem with that gun shot, or gun boom, or whatever. Because I got the fucking Elder Scroll here. I'm ready to roll. Uh, okay. Okay, that's not a good sign, so I guess yes. he's, uh, dead. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your friend, he passed away during the earthquake. <laughs> ah, great. Holy shit. Oh well, at least he doesn't have to worry about those exams anymore. No, so, always look on the bright side of life. Well, you could always try to punch him in the nuts and see if he, you know, any reactions whatsoever. Oh, god damn it. It's one of those moments. 
sentimental moments. But there's nothing to be heard. A waterfall of tears. How many tears I'm does she have? This. God damn it. We did everything we could. Yeah, try lying to me like that. Say it like it is. You just sat there, well, I don't know, playing Angry Birds or whatnot. <laughs> can, can I have a few minutes alone with him? Please? <laughs> Only if you listen to five minutes alone with Pantera, otherwise, fuck off! Oh, god damn it. The tears won't stop, and my throat constricts, making it hard to say the simple yes, to say that simple request. <laughs> Would it be fun if she said, "No, I'm gonna keep the corpse. I, I mean, get rid of the corpse." Okay, she's all alone. Damn it! Was all this yeah. for nothing? Well, there's gonna be a lot of trouble when, well, she killed the god or soldier, so... The train of consequences coming your way, lady. It can't save him now. Well, the Elder Scroll has saved my ass several times, so go for it. More crying. I still have yeah. to cry. At first I thought they said, no, I still have to cry. No, we're past that point. This is my fault. Oh, my God damn. Got him killed. No, the car and the earthquake got him killed. Open scroll, star maced at the runes. Uh, yeah, the spell jumps to my lips. And, oh. That kind of looked like my handwriting, so I guess I'm writing scrolls all day long. And I'm not even gonna try to read it. Okay, now I got some kind of satanic s symbol, whatnot here. Diablo, is that you? Or is it Gaben? No, it's not Gaben. God damn it! A sudden flash! And it's not Flash Gordon, that's for sure. Okay, everyone comes in the room. They are shocked. What on earth is going on here? The beam of light vanishes. And Kusunagi's body is gone. Well, Hello. he's probably in a better place mm -hmm. now, so... And where the fucking hell am I? It looks like some kind of, I don't know, castle, monarchy huh? place. Where am I? W what happened? I suppose well, you died, my son. Listen, boy, you don't have long Holy time. shit. Well, well, well. Well, eh. Huh? Hello there, what? lady. What? what are you talking about? I'm, I'm going to die, but, but I feel just fine. Yeah, don't we all feel like that? We well, have, to you know, honest, too many drinks. You're already dead to begin with. We just brought you back to life for the moment to ask some questions. Well, ain't she a polite lady, bringing me back from the dead just to ask questions and then to kill me again or just let me die. Wait, what? Wait, how, how can I still be alive now if I was already dead? And, and who are you anyway? Well, she doesn't look like death, so I think we can scrap that from the, you know, I the usual suspects Kishia, list. And I've resurrected you through my magic powers to ask you some questions. It's only a temporary resurrection and time is running out. Well, ain't you a short-minded woman with a short Princess temper? Magic. Resurrection. This is all a bad joke, isn't it? These things don't really exist. Of course they do. Have you never been to a Comic-Con convention? Holy shit. Ah, uh, nothing, nothing. Not looking at the breast. Uh, I mean, uh, you know. They don't exist. God. Damn. <laughs> yeah, she could probably kill me with those things. Dog here the proof that he needs. And who the hell is Erden? Okay.
Okay, a scary smile has stretched it across her lips. I open my mouth to say something, bef but before I can, I f suddenly feel a piercing pain in my back. Okay, this is uh, not good omen. And talk about plot twist from nowhere. Still, a better love story than that goddamn vampire series. Twilight or whatever the hell it's called. Ah, oh, great, I got a sword through my chest. Oh, stop being so dramatic. Nice. This is indeed a fatal wound, and if it wouldn't be for my magic that resurrected you, you would have been dead. But you're not. Uh, it's hard. just merely a His flesh wound, nothing to worry about. Can't die until the time it happens to me, you know. It happens to me all the time. Okay, I can feel the pain, I can feel the blood, now, but I'm still alive. Out, tell me, who are you? Where did you come from? I told you, I'm Batman, and I'm from Gotham City. Stop my bleeding first. <laughs> Fine. All now this demands. And what the hell does that mean? Remove the fucking blade from his, you know, stomach chest. All right. I'm having a hard try <laughs> time trying to read the text for obvious reasons, but I'm I Kusunagi. try to do I'm the very best I can. Old, and a high school student at Fujiyama Academy. I live in the Shinjuku district. Shinjuku. Ah, nice. Where is that? Japan. Tokyo? Okay, maybe she's a foreigner. Well, okay, Tokyo, Japan, to be exact. Okay, she have never heard of Tokyo before. And that pretty much figures that she's not from Earth. Okay, now I wake up in a luxury bed in a total new room. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like a royalty. Scare you like that. Please, excuse me. Who's he talking to? Was I rude to her? Uh... Was that all... a dream? I... I couldn't have really been dead, right? Well, let's find out. Yeah, I have a lot of questions too. <sighs> like it's the fact, no where the hell am I? I can't make any sense of this. The magic can't possibly exist. But if that's true, then where Of course I? it can. Just ask Rinswim. I remember was pushing Sachi out of the way of that car. Tell it like it is. You pushed her in front of the car, but you fail miserably. Come in. Ah. Uh, I guess it's not the pizza service. Uh Okay, what the heck? What? Long elf ears? Hello again. Elf girls? I'm sorry for the rough what? treatment earlier, but considering how ah. you just appeared and the situation we're in... A <laughs> rough treat. Like I got the f bloody sword through my chest, woman. Appeared? The situation? Ah. Oh, yes, right. You were dead when you appeared on top of me. You know, the sword versus chest situation. Appeared on top of me? What? Oh, nice. Necrophilia vibes going on here. I do not know who, uh. what, or where you came from. I do not know why you're here either. But what I do know is that last night while I was sleeping, you simply appeared out of nowhere, falling on me with your hands on my breasts. <laughs> I guess wherever you came oh, from, Christ. even after you die, a pervert remains a pervert. I think that goes for, well, pretty much every male alive, more or less. Well, well, you lucky bastard, you. I look at my hands, then shit. Pay attention. Frustrated. It's even bigger than my goddamn hands. Okay, uh, too angry. Okay, she's angry now. Well, try to, well, not speak about her My chest reunion and you will be just fine. You met, along with a few of the guards, dragged you into a cell until this morning. Well, ain't that nice? Well, 
guest hospitality. Uh, pain in my back as you mentioned him. Yeah, could it be it the bastard that struck that me with dead. the goddamn it sword? I that suggested you be brought back to life. Okay, he finally did. Unfortunately, father's head counselor was totally against it. Under the pretext that the dead should remain dead. Eventually, due to how little we knew about you... Well, that makes perfect sense. Time period just Otherwise, we have a walking practice. dead situation. How the hell is he supposed to, you know, be a threat to anyone? No offense, man, but seriously? He's 14 years old, he's unarmed, and he's a uh, So that net. means I died once again after it went black, right? God damn, he's like the ultimate Correct. ammo. And Dies over and over again and comes death, back. Your body would be burned and fed to the dragons, or vice versa, depending how the dragons liked your meat. Holy shit. They sure know how to take care of dead and not dead people or things. But... Better I'm safe alive. than sorry, I guess. <laughs> I'm born again. Yes. Just like the, the Black Sabbath song. My father went against their decision and suggested you be resurrected yet again with a longer time frame to find out who or what you really are and where you actually came <laughs> from. And thus, you've been resurrected with a time frame of one week. Well, ain't that friendly? One week to live. So, let's begin by reintroducing uh. ourselves with no rush this time. I am Princess Akishia Alvarial, Princess of Alfheim. Okay, so it's called Alfheim. For a moment, I, I thought they said Einheim. Einheim. But Wait, no. Are you a real elf? Are those ears real? No, it's fake. Just like, you know, Kim Kardashian. And speaking of Kim Kardashian, it, it seems like her ass is stuck on her, you know, the front chest region. Uh, okay, he yanks her ears, and she gets pissed off, and she punches me in the face. And this is not how you, you know, tries to of course we're real. <laughs> hang around a woman. I'm Princess of Alfheim, where every elf lives. You seem to know about us and our home, yet we don't know anything about you or yours. So please, do tell. This is going to be rather interesting, due to the fact that he's a net and, you know, well, nerd. Well, Highness, I'm in no way royalty such as yourself. I'm just a high school student from, um, Midgard. That's what you call the human world, right? <laughs> what? Anyway, Midgard. the reason I know about you and your land is that, in my world, there are lots of legends and stories, animes, movies, and games about elves. I'm not really sure how, but there are legends that say elves lived in our world long ago. Others say that elves and Alfheim are only fiction that someone created. But here you are in front of me. Well, you could also be high on meth. Who knows? Oh, please, excuse my manners, Your uh. My name is Yamakaze Kusanagi, from the country of Japan. I lived in the Shinjuku district of Tokyo City. My, my. Okay, what now nice we got that sorted attitude. out. But to be honest, there is a legend here that 2,000 years ago, a group of elves on a sacred journey disappeared from Alfheim, and it's believed they may have ended up in a different world. Hmm. <laughs> okay. 2,000 years ago? Well, that's almost since our recorded history began. What is this sacred journey that they were on anyway? The history of Japan, that is. No one knows. We don't even know if this story is true or not. Though, from what you're telling me, it may as well be true. Are there any more elves that live there now? <laughs> no. Unless no, you count, Highness, you know, I Santa said, Claus they were elves. Not to exist at all. Okay, so oh. now she's sad. We'll end here for now. By that fact. Get some rest now. We'll talk more tomorrow. Wait, okay, he hit the, is... a nerve. Are, are you alright? I'm very sorry if I, I, I said something wrong. 
I have to say that this whole situation made me, you know, think about the anime called El Hazard. No, it's kind of, I'm well, there's similarities at least. You know, go into another world, but as far as I know, no one died in El Hazard to end up in a you know, whole other world. Come from? Royalty aren't supposed to be this easy to catch in a lie. It's customary for them to appear totally honest. <laughs> yeah, honesty in today's society. Well, Non-existing. And very true. I've never told a lie in my entire life. <laughs> okay. Starting off a uh, <laughs> lie well, with another host. lie. But yeah. when you're ready, you can come talk about it. It's not a good thing to hold it in, you know? Okay, she leaves the room. A lot about elves, vampires and witch. Pure fantasy creatures, but that's how it is. Yeah, Sashi, what happened to her? Let me see now. She killed a guard, she got shot in the arm, and she's weeping over, well, his bed because he's Sir, gone. Breakfast is ready, please wake up. And who the hell is that? Sachi, I thought I told you to stop doing this. I can get ready for school on my own. Oh, great. Sachi? Talking is sleep. Sir, it's time to stop dreaming of girls and wake up. Stop <laughs> being so jealous, yeah. Sachi. Guilty as sin, or George. Five minutes alone, but no. Uh, okay, she pour ice cold water on me. Okay, nice. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Are you trying to kill me? I tried to kill me. Well, it's a effective way to wake people up. It always works, more or less. Okay, so we, she's I'm her, so er, uh, his maid. But you weren't getting up, and it seemed like you were having a perverted dream about a, a girl named Sachi. Uh, unless it's a guy, but, but, I mean, it's okay if it's like that, sir. Uh, don't worry, I, I won't tell a soul. <laughs> Christ. Well, I'm sad to inform you, but you have to go. The hard way. Hitman style. Okay, she dropped the bombs, then she's the smiling. Side. Now you won't have to wash your face. Though you should hurry up and get dressed. <laughs> yeah. I'm all messed up. Oh, okay, it was a oh, yes. glass of I water. To I thought it was like a bucket. Especially here, where there's no medicine for me. Catch a cold, sir. Ah, yeah. Is it custom in Midgard to catch a cold? Well, Wait a minute. I they don't have colds. Custom, but it does happen very often. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I heard the stories about Japan and you colds. Catch the heat? Yes, ask PewDiePie Pie about that one. No, uh, actually, a cold, cold is... ice. Um, I'm deeply sorry to interrupt you, sir, but the princess is waiting for you to have breakfast in the dining room with her. Oh, I see now. Oh, so Christ, that's what you meant her again. I had to hurry and change. Yeah. Because she doesn't like to wait. Well, most women um, doesn't like to wait because bathroom? women wait for no one. Your own personal bathroom is behind that door, sir. If I may, do you still need to wash? If so, I would be happy to help you, sir. I have been assigned to be your personal maid, after all. Holy shit. I wonder if this is gonna go all the way, if you know what I mean. Rinka dinky and all that. Oh, yeah. It's one of those moments. <laughs> you fucking uh, man dog, no, you, or child dog, or <laughs> whatever. No, I just yes, want to get sure. changed. Right away, That's sir. the wrong answer. Sir? 
Why the hell didn't I get the option right? there? Your face is all reddened. Oh, you're bleeding. That's a myth right there. Because it doesn't happen when you get, you know, excited. But in the world of Omniman games, that's, you know, a sight of, oh, I'm getting excited. Anyhow, right. <laughs> wiping away the me. blood. Yeah, you perverted boy, you. Uh, oh, oh, god damn. Oh, uh, yeah. This is like 50 shades of grey. Yes, three times, Bowser. Uh, sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean to be rude. I only tried to help you change, sir. Should I have come from the front? Oh, god damn it. Oh. No, don't worry. You All did nothing right. wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I can get dressed by myself. So, uh, can you please wait for me outside? This is going swell. I don't really know where the dining room is, and uh, I'd be happy if you'd show me the way. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, and don't worry. It was my own fault for not asking. Okay, there's a lot of crying in this game. Ah, okay, now I'm heading to the dining room. Well, it's a castle or palace of some kind. Late. Oh, great. Well, you know, Excuse me and time me, doesn't work really all that well. Or easy to wake up. Yeah, like I said, Enough I'm a night excuses. person. Night owl. Owl. Okay. Tomorrow, Grumpy all we know. Only your face, instead of submerging your head in the whole wash bin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just how I wake up. Uh. I'm too sleepy, your highness. I see. By the way, oh, I hope you'll be satisfied with her. But in any case, if you don't feel good or right with her, you can always ask to replace her with someone else. Okay, that sounds evil. Thank you for providing her, your highness. And I don't think it will be necessary to replace her. Huh. I reached the crats. Night, or royalties sorry, or whatever. I something I shouldn't have. Also, you mentioned something about a situation. May I ask what situation were you referring to? <laughs> well, if it's not the sword or the fact that you died and got resurrected, then I don't know what the goddamn situation is. Okay, okay. They're having tea, so everything's cool. Everything's calm, people. Nothing to worry about. Uh, okay, want to go back home because you want to see Sashi one last time. One. During the past couple of days, there have been some mighty shakings of the earth. Oh, great. Of the earth. Earthquakes here as well. Yes, it's as if the earth under our feet trembles violently. Some of the nobles and elders say it's because father announced me as the heir to his throne. <laughs> well, it's either that or the fact that there will be no goddamn Half-Life 3 at the E3 event this year. You know, angry fans, the rants you know, creating earthquakes and all that. Those are called earthquakes uh, in my world, yeah. your highness. And they're pretty frequent where I come from. But it's been a few decades since we had a really huge one. Tell me, your highness, how big was this earthquake? Big enough to not be able to hold your balance at all. Big enough to shake this entire palace. Holy shit. Do you have any leads as to what caused it? Sounds pretty Aside bad. The rumors that say it's because of you. Well, I'm not a scientist, but it has to do with those, you know, plates underneath the ground near the no, core or the center of the earth. None whatsoever. 
sentimental plates or something like that. Continental plates, I think it's called. Uh, okay, you had this breakfast. Talking about earthquakes. There must be a connection. Well, the only connection I see Are is you, woman, magic and problems. Like that, that could cause this, your highness. Nothing that could shake the entire world this badly. Huh. Besides the rage of a woman, that is. But I'm not even gonna go any deeper into that subject. Uh, oh, wait a minute, didn't you have thanks, tea? Sorry, now sir, it's a cup I of coffee. You finished. For oh, God's worry. sake, leave its coffee cup alone. Okay, she gives him a glare that Can could I kill me. Get a tour of the palace? Trying to change subject. Sounds like a plan. I could always find something fun to do. And uh, what the hell is that? I think somebody died. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, he's gonna get a ah, tour. Yes, thank you. Uh, yes. It doesn't seem you're too pleased. No, it's not that, Your Highness. It's just I hmm. thought you were busy. Well, I'm not. And besides, I do have to keep you under observation until we check your story. You could be an enemy spy, or assassin, <laughs> or spy assassin for all we know. Under observation. But I will let Elisven come with us. Okay. Elisven? This sounds promising. Yes, your maid. What kind of name is that? Ah, okay, that's her name, alright. Well, this is nothing like any place I've ever been. Okay, now outside in the co- oh god damn. That's a fancy courtyard garden right there. Uh, okay, he's embarrassing. Embarrassment. Oh great, a masked man armed with a sharp dagger suddenly appears before us and charges towards the princess. Alright. Cut off guard, I hesitate for a moment. Oh, that was the end. So I have no idea what's gonna happen next. Oh well. It was fun for as far as it went. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and, well, will support uh, Yggdrasil on Kickstarter on the 15th of Mars. So. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment on it in the video, of course. And feel free to subscribe, of course, and you, if you like the video or the other videos that we have created. So just have a nice day, people. Take care. This is VX signing out. Bye-bye.